In the United States, coins are everywhere. Pretty much every home you walk into is going to have like a change drawer or a jar or a bowl where people toss their coins at the end of the day. So you guys have a lot of familiarity with working with quarters, nickels, and dimes and adding up 25 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, adding up those kinds of denominations. So in the word problems you're going to see, you're going to be given information about the amount of coins there are and also the values. You're going to want to turn that into two equations. For some people, it helps them to make a table like this. I'm going to show you how you might do it. Let's just say you had a problem about quarters and dimes. One of my columns will represent quarters, my other column will represent dimes, and my third column will represent total. By the way, in algebra class, we usually only deal with two variables at a time. So although we might, in the real world, have quarters, dimes, and nickels, in these problems, you're only going to be dealing with two of those. You're not going to have all three to work with. Okay, so my problem here, I just made up is about quarters and dimes. This first row is going to represent an equation where I'm adding my number of quarters, there's a plus sign there, to my number of dimes, and I'm getting some total number of coins that are in the jar or in the drawer or whatever. Down here for the value, I have to do 25 cents times the number of quarters plus 10 cents times the number of dimes is going to give me whatever total value the problem presented for me. If this helps you making a table like this, by all means, please do. If this doesn't help you, that's fine too. Just keep in mind you're going to need two equations with two variables. One of your equations will be about the amount of coins and the other equation will be about the value of those coins.